so I am on the way right now. I'm running late to my 28 week pregnancy appointment and my glucose test. I'm a little nervous about it. The glucose test is to test and see if you, I guess, have diabetes or like are close to having diabetes. I, when I was pregnant with Camden, I passed the test. I did not have diabetes. I'm hoping that is the same way with Quentin and that I'm good. But yeah, this is the test where you like have to drink that orange stuff that everyone says is so nasty. I don't remember it being that nasty when I did it with Camden. Like I feel like it was a little like extra, extra sweet, but it wasn't like disgusting, you know? I'm not really like, I don't really care about the drink part. I just kind of nervous about whether I'm gonna pass or not. And of course, you know, I ate sweets this weekend, but I was trying to be healthy with my desserts. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I was eating strawberries and like this coconut organic Cool Whip um, and chocolate hummus. Obviously like there's cocoa and stuff in it cause it is chocolate, but it's like a much healthier alternative than just having like chocolate dip. So we will see how this appointment goes. Wish me luck. I just got out of my glucose test. I feel like I was in there forever. I also got my Tdap shot. I got blood drawn um, to test my glucose and then also I get, she said something about like checking my blood levels or something. I'm not really sure. I felt nauseous <laughs> pretty much the whole hour while I had to wait for my blood test. Just because you're like chugging down something super sweet and I never drink soda or like anything sweet. I always just pretty much stick to like water and coffee. So that's why I felt a little nauseous, but I feel much better now. I'm gonna go home and eat something. The good news is I'm officially in my third trimester. I'm so like happy and excited and it just, it's like that much more real. Like that I'm in my third trimester. He's gonna be here so soon, like in May. It's only a few months away, but I just can't even believe it. And another exciting thing she told me, so when I delivered Camden, I didn't get my regular OB. It was pretty much like anyone who's on call in the practice is who delivers your baby. I was talking to my doctor and she was like, yeah, you could get any of the other five doctors in the practice or since this is your second baby, she's like, we will give you a choice of if you would rather just be induced like a week early at 39 weeks. She's like, that would be totally fine because we know you can have a baby, like you don't have complications or issues or anything like that. So we actually give you the choice of being induced at 39 weeks. Um, she's like, some people who already have a kid like to get their childcare set up. They like to know when the baby's coming. They like to get things in order and things ready. And um, she's like, so that is an option for you. And she's like, and then obviously you can choose which doctor you want to deliver the baby, what time you wanna come in, what day and all that. And I told her, I was like, I heard that, I've heard horror stories of people getting induced. Like literally all of my friends who've been induced, anyone I know who's been induced has never really said amazing things about it. They're always like, don't be induced if you don't have to be induced. And so I never wanted to be induced. But my doctor was like, no, that's not true. She was like, especially with your second baby, she's like, you don't wanna be induced with your first baby because she's like, it'll take forever. The second baby, it will not take long. She's like, you come in, you get induced, you know, a few hours later you have the baby and everything's good. And she made it sound like it wasn't a big deal at all. So that is something I'm definitely going to consider you guys. I never thought I would say that. Like I never thought that I would say that I kind of want to be induced, but just like getting to pick out the day and time that I come in and knowing exactly when I'm going to have him and it, I mean, even like a week early, like it'd be a week before my due date. So I'd get to meet him a week early. I don't know. All 
All right, so I got some stuff in the mail the other day that I wanted to share with you guys because I've been loving it, especially for my stretch marks. So this is the company Basque NYC. Um, and they sent me the Sensitive Skin Mega Moisture. It's for dry, sensitive skin, and it is fragrance-free. I've been loving this. I literally put this all over my entire body, like my legs, my arms, my back and chest. And then I use this one for my belly because this is their Stretch Mark Butter Intensive Treatment. I have been loving this stuff. It is so moisturizing and so smooth. Um, I like the scent, and I will definitely keep you guys updated as I continue to use it. But you guys know I was using that Palmer's lotion that I ran out of, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, but now I am definitely on the Basque train, and I use this every single day after my shower. And then they just sent me like a little one that I can throw in my purse of the Mega Moisture. They sent me this Citrus Sugar Skin Perfecting Scrub. I haven't used this yet, but I'm definitely going to use it after um, my spray tan has worn off a little bit and I need to scrub it off. I'm going to try this out. And then they also sent me an anti-blemish daily cleanser. Um, you guys know I'm obsessed with my BioClarity skincare that I use religiously. So I'm not sure when I'll get around to actually trying this. Um, but... It says it has oak root extract, tea tree oil, green tea, and chamomile. So, um, and it is for hormonal skin, which I do have, especially being pregnant. And then last but not least, they sent me their Elasticity Resilient Body Oil. My friend Adrian uses their products and swears by them, which is why I wanted to try them out. So this is for stretch marks and it's scar treatment. And I actually put this on right after my shower all over my belly. And then I will top it off with their stretch mark butter. And I've been loving this combination together for my belly. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated, but I am really loving their products so far. So it's been like a week since I last vlogged and updated you guys on my pregnancy and the glucose test and all of that. I actually had planned to get the beginning part of this video when I went to go take that glucose test at my 28 week doctor appointment. I had planned to get that up before I left for the baby moon trip but it just didn't happen. I had so much to do. I went and got my hair done. As you can see, it is much blonder and lighter now than it was in the last clip. I had to pack, I got a spray tan. You guys know how it goes. So anyway, I am just now picking up the camera to start vlogging my daily life again. And I wanted to update you guys with what's going on. So after my 28 week glucose test, I ended up getting a call and she left me a voicemail and pretty much just said the cutoff for normal was 135 and mine returned at 148. So I failed the glucose test and now I have to go back and take a three hour glucose tolerance test. I made the appointment um, for this coming Thursday. Oh, you guys, I was so bummed. Like I honestly didn't think I was going to fail it. Deep down, I really thought I would pass. I think because I passed with Camden and I just didn't think that I would have any issues. As I told you guys already, I mean, I did eat pretty unhealthy and had sweets throughout the weekend and then took my test on Monday. So I'm thinking maybe now that I'm taking it on Thursday and I really try to eat healthy during the week, maybe I'll pass the three hour one. But um, yeah, they sent me instructions and everything I need to do and I have to fast from midnight before the test up until the test. And then I have to go in, get my blood drawn, drink the really sweet drink wait an hour, get my blood drawn, drink the sweet drink again, and then wait an hour, and then I guess get my blood drawn again. Um, but I do know it is three hours for the test, which I'm not looking forward to. So I'm doing it as early as possible <laughs> this coming week um, so that I can eat afterwards because I'm gonna be starving. You're apparently supposed to bring food with you and eat your lunch like in the waiting room right after the test. But I live pretty close to the office and I would just rather go home and eat lunch. I don't wanna sit in a waiting room and eat food. So also my blood levels came back and she did say I do need to take iron pills. Um, I guess I'm like borderline anemic now, um, which I know can happen when you're pregnant. It's very common and I do think that I had to take iron pills with Camden as well. So, um, the ones that she recommended I get were these. 
uh, slow FE slow release iron supplements you just take one a day so I started taking these the other day I'm nervous though because I know that iron pills cause constipation and you guys know I already have issues with constipation during pregnancy so this is not going to help at all but if you guys have any tips if you're on iron pills on what I can eat specifically to help me with that little issue I would greatly appreciate it but yeah, I'm just super bummed that I failed, you guys. I did not think I was gonna fail that test, but it is what it is. Um, a lot of my girlfriends said that they know people who failed the first glucose test, but then went back for the three hour test and were fine and passed it and we're good to go. So I am hoping that's gonna be me this week when I take it. Um, of course, I'll update you guys and let you know if I pass. I finally unpacked all of my stuff and I've been getting a lot of questions about my rose gold suitcase. So you guys, this actually isn't mine. It is my mom's. Um, I don't have a suitcase right now. I need to get a new one and I just didn't have time to order one before the trip. So I ended up just borrowing my mom's, but you guys have been asking the brand and it's called Reaction by Kenneth Cole. I do believe she got it at TJ Maxx, I want to say. Um, and I really do love this suitcase. It's really big inside. It's really sturdy and nice. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there in case you guys want to go check out your local TJ Maxx. I've also been getting a lot of questions recently about my phone case. I know I have a lot of new subscribers, so I wanted to kind of just share this with you really quickly in case you're new. This is called a loopy case and it protects your phone from falling. Like I never ever drop my phone because of it. Um, you can grab it with literally your pinky and then you can pick up like your drink or your keys whatever you need and you have your phone with you and you don't have to hold it with your entire hand. Um, it's a very good case. They're super protective. I've never had an issue with them. Um, they come in so many different colors and prints and I am obsessed with mine. So I do have a coupon code always in the description down below. It's just Liza10 and it'll save you 10% off. Just wanted to share that with you guys. So I also ordered some purple shampoo from Amazon and this is what I got. So I have to send this back, obviously, but it is the brand Pravana. I think that's how you pronounce it. The Perfect Blonde. Um, so many of y'all recommended this to me, and I just heard really amazing things about this purple shampoo, and it really wasn't that expensive on Amazon, but it just sucks that it exploded on the way here. So I'm going to return it, probably. Um... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think they also sell this like in Ulta. I might just go pick it up there. I think that is it for this video, you guys. I really just wanted to update you on what's been going on lately with my pregnancy and the glucose test and all of that. I've been getting tons of questions about moving and I will update you guys as soon as I can. I promise we are in the middle of trying to sell our house and just a lot has been going on. So I definitely will update you guys as soon as I can with everything. Um... But yeah, I think that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.